Hi there, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. This is vlog number three, and I'm very excited to bring you some new stuff today. Today, we'll be talking about how to clean your keyboard, how I clean my keyboard anyway. Uh, you might do it differently. And I'll talk about what Paleo is, just a little bit about it, as well as answer your questions. So why don't we get to it? So let's roll up the sleeves and uh, get to the intensive workout we have ahead. Alrighty, so next to me, what do you see? This dust wasteland. That used to be, you know, quite attractive keyboard, I'm sure, at some point. Well, um, this is a few years old. I just kind of found it lying around in the house, and I'm like, there's some stuff I'd like to do to it. Using this DataVac electric duster. It's very powerful, by the way, so don't get scared when it's turned on. And, but the only thing I really don't like about it is that it's got, like, one button. I mean, wh where's the presets, you know? Where's the like low air, high air, it's just high. And then there's this new thing that I found, it's really cool actually, it's uh, it's by Home Do Re Mi, kind of reminds me of Sound of Music, right? Like Do Re Mi, okay anyway, uh, off track, off track. Okay, so this cleaning agent is this gel, and uh, I got it because it got like really good ratings, and I'm like, well I kind of want to try it out, and I like fun stuff like gel. So I actually did get to try it out earlier, and it's great. You don't need to wash it. It stays good for three years, but I'm guessing that you probably won't be cleaning like a keyboard a day. Maybe you'll be cleaning a couple times a year. Um, and it says that as soon as this uh, uh, gel thing changes color, opaque or looks like green here, that means you got to toss it. And by the way, both of these are environmentally friendly and biodegradable, so that is like pluses in my book. Um, but why don't we get started with this first, because it's so intense looking. It looks like I'm going to like, I don't know, melt something or write letters into metal or something like that. Are you ready to get started? This gets pretty crazy, let me just warn you. Anyway, so you see uh, the curtains back there? I'll just show you how powerful this is. I'm, I'm about what, 10, 15, 10 feet away from it maybe? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Check out that power! Alrighty, I'm afraid I might blow this keyboard off the table now. Okay, but let's let's go for it. On this side, ready? Oh my god! It is crazy dust action! Oh my goodness! Dust everywhere! Clean it up, Joe. And now for the gel. Although I prefer to call it the goopity goop goop. But that's just my thing. Alrighty, so let's take it out of the package and uh show you real quick. I actually used it earlier. That's, oh my god, do you know what this reminds me of? Monsters! Yeah! Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's take the rest of it out of the bag. Is that it? Did I leave any in there? Oh, there's still some in there. One second. Alrighty, so here's the rest of it. God, this is so fun just looking at it. Anyway, so you'll want to like pinch it first or squeeze it. Doesn't this look fun to you? Like, oh, look at me. Okay, anyway, so um, they said that do not rub. Okay, you want to press into it and don't pressing it for don't press into it for too long. But you'll see this layer here of dust that's still left. We're gonna just go like this and go kiss it. Oh my God, look at that. I know you saw that difference right there. Oh my god, so beautiful. We're gonna make this keyboard all pretty. Oh, it's a Logitech, I had no idea. Anyway, <laughs> there's a logo. Uh, and what I like about the gel is that, you know, if it's dirty, just fold over it and squeeze. And um, it can get between the keyboards too. It's like, you know, when you have gum. Sometimes, like, when I was younger, I would use the gum to push the crap out of my teeth. <laughs> but uh, maybe that's too much info for you. Look at that print, that's sick. And look at that, it's like a brand new keyboard. Boom, and ha, and chop suey, yes. And so on and so forth, and just, are we still rolling? Oh my god! Is that really the same keyboard that that I showed you earlier? All because of this goop here? Oh wait, wait, a and the dust, electric duster. Well, that was a step one. But uh, anyway, this, by the way, it's only 10 bucks or 9.99 for four of these little goopy balls, by the way. Goopy, goop, goop. I'm terming it. I mean, I'm terming it. Is that what I said? Yes. Anyway, you know what's great about this stuff, aside from its 
fun. Oh my god. Just broke. But you know what? That's okay. Shmew. Okay. It's all good then. Again. <laughs> you know what's great about this? Even better is that uh, it uh, doesn't leave a residue. I mean, like, you know, it feels a little, a little a tiny bit moist on the hands, but it doesn't leave any residue on the product. Um, and now that it's filled with all this gross, naughty, grossness. Joe, you want it? Here, catch. Catch. <laughs> anyway, now on to the next uh, topic. What is paleo? Some of you might be thinking it's like Atkins or something, but I don't think it's quite Atkins. Anyway, uh, paleo is it's a gluten-free, no grains, no refined sugars. It is all organic, quality meats with no antibiotics or hormones, no legumes. Well, they're a little bit uh, more lenient on that, like peanuts, certain beans, and etc. So that's like the general guideline. That's pretty much all I know. I don't actually practice it, but I guess from time to time to be healthier, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, the theory, this is uh, from a friend, is that our bodies evolved 100,000 plus years ago to eat certain natural foods like fruits, veggies, and meats. And since the agricultural revolution, man has introduced foods into our diet um, that our bodies are nev were never designed to process, like grains, refined sugars, preservatives, artificial flavoring, McDonald's. You know, <laughs> just like fake stuff. Okay, um, our bodies don't know what to do with these unnatural substances, and as a result, they cause autoimmune disease. And it's been shown to link to cancer, diabetes, heart disease, all sorts of things. So by eliminating these foods, our bodies can run more efficiently. And so my thoughts on this is, I totally agree with the all organic approach, but I'm still not 100% sold that all grains are bad. Uh, maybe like the ones that are uh, laid out to dry, I forgot what that process is called. Um, but anyway, wh what if you could eat just the right ones and definitely all organic? I'm not too sure about that. I think that friend might kill me once, once he uh, watches that. <laughs> and it's really hard for me to give up bread stuff, that gooey, goopy deliciousness, you know, like croissant. Oh my god, I love that stuff. Oh my god, cake. Oh. But you know, the great thing about paleo is you could swap out all that, uh, you know, the bread consistency. You could recreate it with, like I said before, almonds and cashews and like all that good stuff. Mainly almonds, I think. Dates and things like that. Alrighty, so enough about that. Why don't we head straight into Q&A? So today, um, Vodka Galong, by the way, um, here's your shout out finally. I'm sorry I'm such a uh, donkey. <laughs> I, uh, I keep forgetting to give you that shout out, but here it is. You asked, what are the specs of your current PC? Well, it's about mm, over two years old and when I can actually afford it, I'd love to upgrade, but I already have all the parts in my mind of what I want. So what is the uh, what are the specs? So case NZXT Tempest 410 Elite, and I have to say I really love it. Large window, love the contact fans, absolutely adore it. For the power supply, Silverstone Strider Gold Evolution 850 watt. Maybe I should have gone smaller. I never really did get around to installing that second graphics card, but I usually try to go around that uh, wattage just in case I do. Just in case. CPU Intel Core i7 3930K. Now this is the Sandy Bridge E. It was a hit at the time when I bought this. Like it was actually, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't find it online. Well, I mean on Newegg anyway. It would be sold out like the moment that like it was, uh, you know, um, what's the word, uh, available. And I'm just like, okay, you know what, whatever. It took me literally like six weeks to get a hold of it. Cooler Corsair H100. Mm, I'll be putting in the H100i in my next build. And uh, this is water cooling radiator, no fans, the whole setup. It's uh, all in one, so I don't have to do anything custom with it. Um, motherboard, Asus Sabertooth X79. I love that board. When something goes wrong, there's gonna be a little red indicator that sh tells you exactly what's wrong, so you can go on Google and fix it. <laughs> I love Google. Memory, Corsair Vengeance 2 4 gig DDR3 1600. Um, I have, uh, how many? I have, I have four of them. Yeah, I have four of them, four, four gigs. So that's 16 total. Yeah, um, one of my dims died at one point and that would have explained why my uh, computer just kept black screening me, uh, black screening me. So I fixed it, you know, Googled it, whatever. And it was a tedious process, let me tell you, tedious. I take out all the uh, memory, plug in one at a time, restart, 
power down to find out exactly which one was wrong, but I really do need to get around to replacing it because I think they have lifetime warranty. Not sure. Uh, and what else? Uh, video card, MSI GTX 570 Twin Frozer 3. Even though this is definitely an older card, at the time was still pretty powerful. And even now it runs most new games really well. Dota 2, um, Titanfall, World of Warcraft, just every game that I've tried on it so far, it's worked. And um, editing wise, it does just fine. It doesn't like freeze on me or if it does, it's not too often. I don't know if it's the program or the card itself. Um, but of course, I'm sure if I got a more powerful card, I could probably run both editing and gaming at the same time or two cards probably would do that. And SSD, Samsung 830, uh, 128 gig SSD. And at the time, I was still really newbie at this, so I didn't realize just how much I would, uh, you know, storage I would need on the SSD. And apparently uh, more is better because it's faster boot. And I would probably wanna play, you know, put the games that I play most onto the SSD. But 128 gig fills up fast, okay? Let me just tell you, please go for a 250 gig or bigger if you get an SSD. And then, you know, pay a lot less for a 3.5 inch drive or SSHD, one to two terabytes. I'm probably gonna get two terabytes in the future for that, just for storage of all my games and files. Hard drive, I got the Western Digital Caviar Black 1.5 terabyte. I have a question for you guys. Do you prefer Western Digital or Seagate? I think they're both good, but um, I just, I've always been using Western Digital, so I'm thinking of swapping um, for Seagate in the future just to try out new components, you know? Um, optical drive, LG DVD burner, because I don't know, like I feel like it could still be useful. I mean, some stuff is still disc. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, okay, I mean, yeah, I get the whole, you can load your operating system on like, you know, a thumb drive and all your drivers and all that good stuff, but it doesn't hurt to have one, I guess. And they only cost like 10, $15, so. Not that bad. Um, and question number two is by X of Ages. So he asks, would like to hear your thoughts on the questing in WoW. Are you reading all the quest text? Well, when I played with Tim and I started the Pandaren Mage, it was just blow through everything so we can level up and get to the dungeons and the battlegrounds and so we can get to raiding eventually. Um, so no, I didn't. But ever since you asked that question, actually, yes, you. I decided to kill one of my characters, a hunter, and start up a completely new character. And I have been reading all the quests. And it is so much more fun, by the way. It's slower, but it's really, really fun. Because I actually know what's going on. Like before, I was like, why do I have to give this fish to this guy? Oh, it's for the army because they're fighting somebody. Yeah, so read the quest. It's actually really interesting. Another question is from New Type Destroyer. Are you going to BlizzCon? Now I read on uh, this uh, website that on May 7th and May 10th, you can get their tickets on sale for like $200. I would save up for that and have my, have my hand on the clicker on the mouse as soon as it becomes available or something. Because that's really cheap because I've heard that it costs upwards of seven, eight hundred dollars that's the same thing with like e3 it's really expensive unless you have a press pass or you're connected and stuff like that so my hopes is that i can get a press pass or score those tickets <laughs> um because i would really like to bring you coverage and stuff like that but uh should we give you one more question let me see you know i might save these last two for next time but just how about just one more um robert Peinado. Pi NATO, NATO, said that uh, no more case reviews. Um, that's not true. I'll do a case review soon enough. And um, there's an awesome fan who donated a case to me, Silverstone, and I will definitely bring that up before I unbox that and review it and stuff like that. So please look forward to that. I guess that wraps it up, right? Um, so don't forget to follow me on Joanne. Um, tech Lover, YouTube, also uh, Twitter, Joanne Food Lover, Facebook fan page, Joanne Tech Lover, yes. I really wish I could convert that Food Lover to Tech Lover so everything is just Tech Lover. All right. Uh. Um, and also, uh, what else is there? Yes, be sure to also watch me on twitch.tv slash whaletune so you can catch me play games with Tim four days a week. Good stuff, fun stuff, and we'll test out new games all the time, like maybe uh, Heroes of the Storm I'm actually really interested in, in uh, playing. But I think that uh, that covers it, right? So, um, love you much. Mwah. I forgot! Yeah, this is important, but if you like what you saw and you want to see more of 
all of this good stuff from Joanne Tech Lover. Please go ahead and subscribe, comment, like. That's all.